what we try and do with our, our teams at Sage is we're looking to create a culture where um, we all cross the line together. I think that's that's the way I like to think about it. Um, traditionally in software, it's very easy to almost play tennis. Developers are throwing work to the testers. The solution designers are throwing work to the developers. Really, what we want to do is everybody is one team with a mission, with a goal, with a purpose to cross the line together. Um, because if you believe in that mission um, and you believe it, it's, it's, it's going to be a great journey. So it's going to be exciting to do it together. No one profession has all the answers. The answers are between all of us. And good ideas are also between all of us. Um, and these days, you know, there are developers who like to design. There are designers who like to develop. Um, but what matters, and I think what drives the difference, is that mission. So we're all trying to solve a problem for the customer, and we're trying to ship it sometimes within days. And that sense of urgency, I think, breeds a lot of collaboration on the ground. Carbon is a, is a, is a framework um, built on top of the, the React framework from Facebook. So we're using sort of industry standard, well understood, very up to date um, technologies. Carbon was, was born um, of, a, of, a, of a way in which we could um, sort of bring together lots of the great ideas around user experience and how we build applications as well. So it was born from both a development angle and a user experience um, perspective. So we're looking to enable our development teams to be able to enact on the, on the designs and concepts that are coming out of user experience. I think it's really important that when we're designing stuff, we're thinking about the framework that we use to build it as well, um, because there are all kinds of efficiencies and, uh, and, and savings that we can make to, I guess, reduce resource on the mundane and transfer that resource to stuff that really matters. So if we do things that are bespoke, make them really count to solve a unique need for the user. Um, and it's been, Carbon's helped us to do that by making our design system real. So, so Carbon is, is live now, so anybody who would like to check out Carbon, Carbon is open source. So if you go to GitHub, then I'll go to carbon.sage.com. It's next evolution. The thing that we're, we're working on, um, we're going to be releasing, is the um, inclusion of the latest version of the design language system. There's some quite cool things inside, so um, things like this, how it looks, um, so the, the visual style and some visual themes um, have come into play. Um, that's much better for accessibility, improved contrast, things like that. Um, how it works as well, some of the components have new props and configurations, um, so you can do more with them and then they're more versatile. Um, and things like responsiveness as well, uh, improved responsiveness so we can do more in a mobile context too. We're developing this, building this, improving it all the time. Because it's open source, the community can do so too and can also contribute things back, which might improve things for, for us at Sage and for other consumers of it as well. Um, so it's quite powerful in that way. I think one, one of the, the most um, impactful and fun mechanisms of feedback we've got is uh, users using our apps um, can comment on any, anything, any feature, any page at any time. Um, and we integrated that with Slack. So it immediately pops on the screens of developers worldwide probably 100, 150 developers, all designers, managers, the works, we all see it. Um, you know, when we get feedback like that, there's a huge delivery focus. So we've got to nail down the problem that the user has, ideate the ways to solve it, decide which is best with some data, get that through to implementation, work with our development colleagues, test it, deploy it, um, and do that as quickly as we possibly can. On the other hand, we're also seeking to innovate uh, and to experiment and to find out how we can plug new technologies together, whether it's machine learning or AI or access to, to sources of data or bank feeds. Customer needs are the thing that we put at that center, at that heart, and what is the problem that we're trying to solve? What is the thing, um, and how can we help people be more productive?